Assalamu alaikum. Welcome to the Beliefs of Islam with me, Hassan Hadi. In today's episode, we are going to talk about the existence of God from the perspective of Fitrah. Now, as was explained within the first three episodes of the Beliefs of Islam, the Islamic belief system does not build itself upon foundations of raw rationality, detached of revelation and the inner disposition into which human beings are born. We had tried earlier to emphasize that one should not depend upon the delusions of the syllogisms of the philosophers to determine their faith in God. Rather, we believe, as we have been instructed in scripture, that human beings are endowed with an inner disposition which guides us towards Allah and belief in Him. Now, what is meant by such? What is it referred to? We are, of course, referring to the concept known as the fitrah. Now, on the concept of fitrah, I quote the following verse from the Holy Quran. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim, fitrat Allah allati fatar al-nasa alayha. Meaning, it's God's nature upon which He originated mankind. The fitrah is the natural disposition in which human beings are created and it entails a natural belief in the concept of God, which in turn allows us to recognize true revelation when it's presented to us. Above that, it has been narrated by Imam al-Sadiq, Allah's blessings and peace be upon him, when he was asked by Zurara, who said, I asked Abu Abdullah al-Imam Ja'far al-Sadiq, Allah's blessings and peace be upon him, regarding God's creation, fitrah, upon which he originated mankind. The Imam, Allah's blessings and peace be upon him, answered, Allah originated mankind upon Tawheed, meaning the oneness of God. This once scripturally taught belief is now being vindicated by the claims of modern science. A psychologist, Justin Barrett, a leading expert in the field, has been demonstrating in studies in recent years. Now to quote a well-known British newspaper, The Guardian, Dr. Justin Barrett, a senior researcher at the University of Oxford Center for Anthropology and Mind, claims that young people have a predisposition to believe in a supreme being because they assume that everything in the world was created with a purpose. He says that young children have faith even when they have not been taught about it by family or at school, and argues that even those raised alone on a desert island would come to believe in God. The preponderance of scientific evidence for the past 10 years or so has shown that a lot more seems to be built into the natural development of children's minds than one's thought including a predisposition to see the natural world as designed and purposeful, that some kind of intelligent being is behind that purpose. He told BBC Radio Force Today program, if we threw a handful on an island and they raised themselves, I think they would believe in God. In one study, six and seven year olds who were asked why the first bird existed, they replied to make nice music and because it makes the world look nice. Another experiment on 12-month-old babies suggested that they were surprised by a film in which a ruling bull apparently created a neat stack of blocks from a disordered heap. Dr. Barry said there is evidence that even by the age of four, children understand that although some objects are made by humans, the natural development is different. However, some atheists may retort that such a belief is just a faculty which has been produced in the human mind by evolutionary programming as a survival mechanism. But to question our programming would also lead for us to question our five senses, something that no one would tell us to do. More importantly, since it can be established that belief in a god is a natural feature of human beings until they are indoctrinated otherwise, it is necessary to acknowledge that such a belief need not fall prey to radical skepticism. We have numerous basic beliefs which we naturally hold without evidence, which do not fall prey to radical skepticism in other cases, such as the belief that other minds exist. We could rationally argue that we have no reason to believe in an external world, but rather could believe we are just brains in vast as water, having experiences and feelings fed into them by computers, and that we are the only minds available, but we don't. That would seem ridiculous. Likewise, we have good reason not to question our basic belief that God exists. This is for today, until we meet next episode. Thank you very much indeed, and assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.